Wow. That was interesting. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sean from 4GLU, for Geeks Like You, and you're now tuned into my review of Naruto Ship within episode 332, titled The Will of Stone. Now, this episode starts off with action. You have Onoki and um, A, they're basically fighting off against Madara. Yes, we're focusing back on Madara, which is something I've been waiting for for so long. And, um, Anoki is trying to do his thing. He created a stone giant. He's trying to face off against Madara. Madara's like, come on, man, I'm... I'm a Madara stops that, smacks that out the way, and we get into a scene where we get sort of a flashback of um, of Onoki's past. Because what happens is, is that Madara does his um, Hashirama's Jutsu, and the forest basically overshadows everyone and basically encases them in a forest of wood, if that makes any sense. An encasement of wood. So, um, Pretty much after that, Onoki gives us a little flashback. We had a little insight about um, how he was um, once sort of like an apprentice of the um, Hokage of that time. And, you know, we get to see that the, the Hokage was basically like, I see something in you, you know, and I can basically tell that you'll be something great. You just have to hold on to the will of Stone and never let go of that, you know. And... Um, Remember that scene that we got where Madara was in front of Onoki when he was younger? Yeah, well, Onoki was with Mu. And on top of that, it looks like Madara killed the original Hokage. And Onoki tried to come at him. Madara used Susanoo, smacked that away. And um, we pretty much see where Madara sort of acknowledged Onoki's will and his strength. And was like, yeah, well, I see power in your step, but you're still not nothing. So um, after that... Anoki does this crazy technique where he shoots like this laser and it, and it cuts through the encasement of the wood. That's pretty much what it does. I mean, it slices Madara and, and you know, it doesn't obviously hurt him because he's back with reanimation jutsu. But we do get to see something pretty damn cool and that's that Hashirama's face is attached to Madara. And basically everybody's like, what the hell is that Hashirama's face? But it's explained by Kabuto that Madara... The, 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 the reason why Hashirama's face is attached to Madara is because um, Kabuto wants to create the ultimate warrior. And basically, that is freaking ultimate because Hashirama was stronger than Madara. But now that he has Hashirama's cells, this guy is basically unbeatable by the standards of today's ninjas. So, yeah, Kabuto has an, an ultimate weapon. So, after Madara basically explains that, hey, you're not stopping me. We get an interesting scene, and this is where things sort of pick up, because we slip into Sasuke meeting Itachi. He sees Itachi in the forest, he's chasing him down, they're talking, he's like, look man, I have your eyes down, I can see through your genjutsu, your lies, tell me this. We get flashbacks of, you know, Itachi killing the, the Uchiha clan, and him and, and Sasuke when they were younger, all that stuff, but... Itachi's like, listen, man, I really don't have time to talk to you because I have to go somewhere and I'm going to stop Kabuto's reanimation jutsu. Basically, I'm going to stop the Edo Tensei. And um, this is, this is a, again, a, a real interesting point in the anime where they're going to because, woo, shit is going to get down, man. You have Sasuke who's chasing Itachi and Itachi who's going to Kabuto. What do you think is going to happen? So, um, pretty much after that, we get back to the battlefield where Madara is looking at Tsunade. He's like, oh, you have Hashirama's blood in you. Well, you're going down first. Now the Hokage is like, do you really think we're going to let you do that? He's like, listen, man, like I'm not taking her down because she's a medical ninja. I'm taking her down because she has Hashirama's blood in her. And then he explains that Tsunade's medical um, jutsus aren't nothing compared to Hashirama. He said Hashirama was able to heal people without weaving seals. So there was none of this. He would just look at you and be like, healed. Boom. Get back. Let's go. So Hashirama was a beast. So put that on top of him, his cells now being in Madara, then you have something crazy that's taking on the Kages right now. Um, Tsunade definitely stands up to Madara. She's like, listen, I have the will of fire. Don't, esti don't underestimate me. And that's pretty much where the anime ends. So guys, what did you think about this episode? I'm definitely giving this a 4 out of 5. I enjoyed it, especially where it's going if Kishimoto doesn't decide to swerve us off the road. But 
right now things are going on point and and a lot of things are going to unfold so what did you think about this episode what do you think about Madara now having Hashirama cells in him do you think that the Kages have a chance of beating him and also what do you think is going to happen with Sasuke and Itachi going to Kabuto will Sasuke continue his journey on to Kabuto and if they get there what do you think is going to unfold let me know below guys and again this is Sean from 4JLU for Geeks Like You stay tuned for more reviews and I'll see you guys later peace